Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 15th of 2024 is titled AR3664 at the Sun's Edge. So what do we see here? Well, here we see right along the edge of the sun on the surface of the sun, we see the sunspot region that we've been looking at recently and that is known as AR 3664. And it's extremely large and active sunspot region. And as the sun rotates, it's now being moved off the limb toward the limb of the sun and around toward the other side. Now when it comes around toward the limb we get to see a little more of the activity uh, from it. Well we can't see the sunspot group as clearly we can see its effects even better because now things like the solar prominences which are visible along the edge of the sun. Now those are associated with active sunspot regions and are areas where the sun's magnetic field is lifting plasma off the surface of the sun which then will rain back down onto the sun. Now we see that large prominence there. Uh, the Earth could easily fit under that or next to that. The Earth is relatively small compared to the size of our sun. And these large prominences are Earth sized or even larger. Now what we don't see here is the largest solar flare that was also expelled at this time. So a very large solar flare compared to a prominence. The difference is that a prominence is material that is lifted off the sun relatively gently and then rains back down. So the magnetic field kind of lifts it up and it comes back down. On a solar flare, you can think of the magnetic field almost as snapping it up. So it whips it up very quickly. So what could have taken days to rise up in terms of a prominence can happen in just hours or less with a solar flare. And the energy of the solar flare can actually expel that material at a great enough velocity to be able to escape from the sun. So it can send that material out into space. Now because of the positioning of AR 3664, this flare would not come anywhere near Earth. So Earth is on one side of the sun, this is about 90 degrees away or so. So it won't come anywhere near Earth, but will head out into the solar system. Now the sun takes about a month to rotate about 28 days depending on where on the sun you're talking about. And that means that in a couple of weeks it's quite possible that this large sunspot group will reappear along the other side. In the meantime, it will be monitored by various spacecraft that are in orbit around the sun that can see all different sides of the sun. And we'll see if it is still visible. Sunspots can last a couple a month or two. So it's quite possible the sunspot group could still be visible. And as it comes around again, around the other limb of the sun. So that was our picture of the day for May 15th of 2024. It was titled AR 3664 at the sun's edge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.